Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make chicken biryani and it's a very popular dish in Indian subcontinent and it's pretty much just a type of curry that is combined later with the semi-cooked rice and steamed together. It's a little bit technical but I promise you we'll get through it. Let's start with our ingredients. We need two pounds of chicken, either on the bone or off the bone. We go in to need four cups of very good quality basmati rice, and I'm gonna use the aged basmati rice, which intensifies the aroma of the rice. We will need four medium-sized onions that we are going to slice very, very thin. A juice of one lemon, we will need four medium tomatoes, and I'm using Roma tomatoes. I have removed the skins off of them uh, by just simply submerging them in the hot uh, water, and we're gonna cut it into cubes. We also gonna need one cup of plain yogurt, one bunch of each cilantro and dill, and we're gonna chop it um, not very fine, but kind of roughly, because this is gonna be mainly for uh, flavoring and some decoration. For a garlic and ginger paste, we're gonna need about 10 cloves of garlic and one ginger root. And the rule uh, to making this paste is you need to use as, uh, twice as much of garlic than you use in uh, the ginger. We're just gonna blend it in a small blender and here you go, we have a paste. About six tablespoons of cooking oil, for our saffron milk that's gonna go over our rice, we're gonna need half a cup of warm milk, to which we're gonna add one teaspoon of saffron. We're just gonna mix it together, and we have a saffron milk that's gonna flavor and also gonna color our rice. We will need three Indian chili peppers, three tablespoons of melted ghee, two tablespoons of salt or to your taste. As far as the spices, we will need one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of ground cumin, we're gonna need one teaspoon of garam masala, and one teaspoon of ground fenugreek seed. To flavor our rice, we're gonna need three or four cardamom seeds, we're gonna need three or four cloves, and we're gonna need one stick of cinnamon. We're just gonna make a little spice pack. Uh, this way we can just fish it out when it's done its job. Before we're gonna start cooking, let's take care of the rice. We need to wash it very well until the water runs clear. Then we're gonna put it in the bowl in that colander that we washed it, and we're gonna fill it up with water. This way the rice will come alive. To cook your biryani, you're gonna need a large saute pan or a cast iron wok. And we're gonna heat up six tablespoons of oil and we're gonna start by frying up all this onion. Part of this onion is gonna be used in the layering the dish and part of it is gonna be used in decoration and some of it is gonna be used in gravy. You need to fry it until it's golden brown, but not burned. We're gonna reserve half, and we're gonna use the half in our gravy. And to that onion, we're gonna add about three tablespoons of that garlic and ginger paste. We need to cook it for about two minutes, and the garlic and ginger paste is gonna infuse our dish with amazing flavor. Then add about one tablespoon of salt, mix it together, and it's time for us to load the chicken. Load your chicken, and we're gonna fry it on all the sides until chicken is browned. Keep in mind that at uh, all this time, we're gonna keep our heat on the medium high because we need to fry um, some things up. Uh, when we need to simmer it, we're gonna reduce the heat, but right now we need to make sure our chicken um, has browned a little bit. Cook your chicken for about five to seven minutes, and then we're gonna start adding the spices. 
So we're gonna add all the spices that I mentioned in the beginning of this video and they all go in. We're just gonna mix it together and uh, our dish already is just smelling so wonderful. We're gonna cook it for one minute and then we're gonna add our tomatoes. And at this point, we need the tomatoes to uh, stew. So we're gonna close the lid. And after we've closed the lid, we're gonna constantly check in on the tomatoes, make sure they're completely dissolved. And this is how that gravy is created, that kind of curry base is created, by adding um, tomatoes and um, spices and onions. And when the tomatoes are soft and stewed, uh, we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro and we're gonna add those hot peppers and hot peppers are gonna be there just hanging out for um, until we're ready to take them out and after that we're gonna add the yogurt and at this point it's very important we're gonna reduce our heat to medium low because if you're gonna keep your heat on high your yogurt is gonna curdle and it's not gonna look good in the dish. So just slow down the heat and slowly cook the meat with yogurt. When our dish is halfway done, we need to start cooking the rice. And as you can see, our rice has plumped up. So get a large pot, fill it up with water. So the rice kind of floats in there. We're gonna add all the flavorings. We're gonna add that spice pack, um, some oil and some cilantro and some salt and then um, when the water starts to boil we're gonna load in the rice and be careful with your rice just be gentle with it because basmati rice is a soft kind of rice if you're just gonna dump the whole thing in um, your uh, rice grains are gonna get smushed and it's not gonna look pretty in the dish cook it for about seven minutes and as you can see our rice is halfway done, but it's already doubled or even tripled in size. And then we're gonna fish out that spice bag. We're gonna check the rice and if you can break it in half, it's ready. Then we need to strain it and we're gonna leave it to drain. And at this point, we're gonna take the hot peppers out of our gravy. They have already done their job flavoring the gravy and look how beautiful it looks. Um, this is the curry or the called the gravy. We're gonna add um, half a lemon uh, in that gravy. At this point, the gravy looks beautiful. Nothing got separated. As you can see, the yogurt and the tomatoes became part of the gravy and everything just looks beautiful. So it's time for us to start assembling our biryani. We're gonna add a little bit of fried onion, a little bit of cilantro, and we're gonna slowly start loading the rice and just load one level of the rice. Then you're gonna repeat the process of layering it with fried onion and cilantro and then you're gonna do the second layer or as many layers as you want is depends on how big is your pot but kind of layer it and very gently uh, pat um, on the rice uh, kind of just bring it down a little bit so it soaks into the gravy and the last and the final um, layer we're gonna add some fried onions some cilantro and we're also gonna add about five tablespoons of ghee that's gonna give our rice an amazing flavor it's gonna be very buttery and we're also gonna add our saffron milk on top that's gonna color our rice bright yellow and it's gonna taste amazing then we're gonna return those hot peppers on top because it's gonna be part of our presentation. We're gonna close the lid. And what I like to do, I like to secure it and close it with some aluminum foil. And, you know, to even create more steam, I'm gonna drop a towel on top of it. And after about 30 minutes of low heat steaming, look at this guys we're gonna remove the aluminium foil remove the lid and our biryani looks absolutely beautiful look at this fluffy rice look at this 
tender chicken. Look at the curry underneath the whole thing. This dish can be enjoyed absolutely by anybody. Even the people that have never tried Indian cuisine will love this dish. It's probably one of the most popular dishes in India. And what people say to <laughs> to everybody is kind of safe to eat because it's not overly spicy, it's extremely fragrant, and it's not difficult to make. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.